everyone. Today we're diving into one of my favorite topics, which is medical school personal statement examples. So I'll break down real student examples, talk about why they were strong, why they worked, and hopefully you can apply these kind of tidbits and techniques into your personal statement to make it as strong as possible. Stick around because by the end of this video, you will have a clear vision for your own personal statement. All right, so let's start writing. But first, meet Isabella's acceptance to her number one medical school. It was such a pleasure to work with Isabella to learn about her community outreach and her ties to her local community. We really focused on making clear her commitment to service, her outreach, intellectual curiosity, and conscientious empathy, right? And so connecting these themes in her personal statement were key to really synthesizing her experiences together, to reflect, to craft a message that felt kind of connected in all aspects, right? Thread throughout. Your personal statement is your opportunity to show your the admissions committee who you are, your values, your perspective beyond the statistics, right? So let's jump into examples, see how students did moments that were so well that they really worked and kind of elevated who they were on the page for the admissions committee to know truly who they are kind of meeting, right? The first example is show, don't tell. And you probably have heard this advice a million times, but to see it in actual practice is kind of like the, the trick, right? Okay, so here's the example. I walked into the hospital room and the air was heavy with tension. Mr. Jones, a man in his 60s, lay on the bed staring blankly at the ceiling. His wife sat quietly by his side, her hands tightly clasped together. I introduced myself and began asking routine questions, but he barely responded. Sensing his discomfort, I sat down at the foot of his bed, softened my voice, and asked if he wanted to talk about something other than his symptoms. Slowly, he opened up about his fears of upcoming surgery. This moment taught me that being a good physician is not just about diagnosing, it's about understanding the person behind the illness. So why is this strong? The student shows empathy in action, right? Rather than just telling us they're empathetic, they bring us into the scene, into the moment with vivid details. The air was heavy with tension, like his wife's hands were like tightly clasped. So we can kind of see the situation unfold in real time. And then we have a reflection. This moment taught me. You can use I learned that or in this precise kind of moment, right? So you kind of connect the showing with then kind of like the growth or the reflection. And that is what kind of then attunes or kind of, you know, suggests your values as to why medicine. And you can kind of talk about how this moment shaped your values, how this moment kind of helped you approach medicine differently or in a new light. And so when you're writing your personal statement, don't just say I'm empathetic, right? Use a story to show it in action and then reflect on what it taught you, what you learned, how you impacted someone else. What was that kind of aha moment, right? That light bulb moment. So number two is intellectual curiosity. How do you go beyond the classroom? You wanna kind of showcase intellectual curiosity and I think this is definitely a trait that medical school is looking for. Um, it's not just enough to say that you love learning. You want to show how you've pursued knowledge beyond the classroom. So here's an example. During my biochemistry course, I became fascinated by the process of protein folding and how misfolded proteins can lead to diseases like Alzheimer's. After hours of research outside of class, I reached out to my professor to discuss a recent study on protein misfolding. Our conversations evolved into a research project where I assisted in investigating how certain molecules could potentially prevent misfolding. This project fueled my passion for understanding the molecular basis of disease and confirmed my desire to be at the cutting edge of medical research. So I wanted to show you this paragraph. I would actually either make this a most meaningful paragraph for your activity section, one of the three, right, that's 1325, or if you fold it into your personal statement, I would connect this with a patient story or connect this with a clinical experience that shows kind of, okay, what you learned and how you're bridging the knowledge that you're building with kind of applying it and connecting with patients. The student didn't just find something interesting in class, right? But they took the initiative to take it a step further and then had conversations with a professor that contributed to a research project. So it demonstrates intellectual curiosity and initiative, right? And it shows how the student is reflecting on how they're kind of like what they're doing within and beyond the classroom is kind of a stepping stone to medicine. So if you've been involved in research or have had a deep intellectual engagement with a topic, 
use your personal statement to show how it sparked your curiosity and what steps you took to kind of learn more, right? So what did you take it upon yourself to learn? And so reflect how that mattered to you, right? And how it aligns with your goals within medicine. So example three would be kind of really showcasing cultural awareness. This is critical for anyone going into medicine. And I think sometimes students really miss the mark on how to convey this. Doctors need to understand and adapt the need to the needs of patients of all backgrounds, right? And showing cultural competency and cultural um, sensitivity can set you apart in your writing. So I have an example. Volunteering at a health clinic that primarily served refugee families from Somalia, I quickly realized how cultural differences could impact patient care. Many patients hesitated to share personal details, fearing judgment or misunderstanding. One afternoon, I helped bridge the communication gap by learning basic readings in Somali and familiarizing myself with their cultural norms in healthcare. This simple act helped build trust with patients, and I saw how culturally sensitive care could improve their health outcomes. This experience taught me the importance of empathy and adaptability in a medical career. I strive to really always get to know who my patients are. And so there in that kind of little tidbit from a student why this is strong it goes beyond just saying that they worked within a diverse patient population sometimes students want to just check that box and say it but it shows the little kind of like you know cultural cues the little kind of familiarizing themselves with cultural norms and it shows that sense of wanting to adapt and really kind of garner trust and that then that connects to how learning of who our patients are improves health outcomes and that kind of, you know, how important cultural competence then is to healthcare. So if you've worked with patients from diverse patient backgrounds, reflect on how that experience shaped your understanding of patient care, reflect on how patients received better care or felt more empowered within their care. And so then reflect on how that will make you a better physician, right? If you are interested in learning how I work with students, fill out our application and schedule your free call. The link is in the description below, and we can uh, talk about whether or not we're a good fit I really work on helping students build their message it's not just about editing right it's about kind of becoming a partner to develop these curated content so another one is really showing personal growth and resilience and this is one that every time nearly every time I see it the first draft at least it really is a lot of telling and not a lot of showing. Example, during my first semester as a pre-med, I would say pre-medical student, I struggled with the pace of my coursework. I failed my first organic chemistry exam, and for the first time, I questioned whether I was cut out from medical school. But instead of giving up, I sought help from my professor, restructured my study habits, and joined a study group. By the end of the semester, I had not only improved my grade, but also developed a deep appreciation for the material. This experience taught me that setbacks are not a reflection of my potential, but an opportunity to grow stronger. For me, I wanted to share this, but for me, this is a secondary response or a response in a secondary essay, rather. Sometimes students will have good content like this, but it doesn't kind of make the cut for the personal statement. But I wanted to share it with you because for me, while you're writing your you know primary and secondary months apart, they're probably reading it together, right? So you want to share all these different aspects of who you are. Not everything is going to make the cut in your personal statement. So this is great. I would keep it because it shows vulnerability. It shows kind of how the student responded to failure and how growth and a growth mindset really helps better handle challenges. But does it make it into the personal statement? For me, depending on the content that the student has, probably not. But it turning turning failure into learning and into opportunity shows resilience, determination, the ability to adapt, and it's crucial for success in medicine. So it's definitely kind of something I would keep in the application as a whole. So if you face challenges in your academic or personal journey, don't shy away from them. What's important is kind of how you reflect on those challenges, how they've made you stronger, and then figure out where strategically you should be placing this in your application. You wanna think about your application holistically. Too many times students will be focused five, six months on their personal statement, write seven drafts, and then speed through their activities or their secondaries because of like, you know, mismanagement. So you wanna really think about, okay, what am I showing where? So they get so many different dimensions of who I am. And you know, a touch of creativity, keep it engaging. For me, storytelling, it's not creative writing piece, the personal statement, but storytelling is still super important in all aspects. So let's pause for a second and let's figure out what when you should be getting creative within your personal statement. While most of the statement should focus on your experiences and reflections, you can add a touch of flair and creativity to make it more engaging, right? 
So here's an example of kind of quote unquote creative writing. Standing at the starting line of my first marathon, I felt the weight of the 26.2 miles ahead. Each mile was a test of endurance, focus, and mental fortitude. As the race progressed, fatigue set in, but quitting was never an option. I pushed forward, mile by mile, learning that perseverance, whether in running or in medicine, is what defines success. So this student is using a marathon to serve as a metaphor for the perseverance needed to succeed in medicine, right? This creative touch makes the story kind of more memorable. It gives insight into a key personal trait that they will kind of like, you know, unpack throughout the personal statement, resilience. So if you have a unique hobby or experience, or if there's like, you know, you speak uh, three languages or something that you can kind of connect to medicine and some of these kind of creative connections could be really meaningful to help your personal statement stand apart. That could be important to really kind of create this engaging beginning for your essay. So let's close with examples that tie everything together. Intellectual curiosity, empathy, cultural awareness, personal growth, all of these is kind of what you wanna be working on, right? So during my time, my volunteering at a community health fair, I encountered patients from diverse backgrounds, each with unique health challenges. One elderly patient, Mrs. Alvarez, spoke only Spanish and was hesitant to ask questions about her treatment. I sat with her using my conversational Spanish to explain her diagnosis and treatment plan. The relief on her face as she understood her care was a moment that reaffirmed my commitment to providing culturally aware care. In that same moment, I realized that medicine is not just about diagnosing and treating, it's about building trust, understanding, and offering hope. Whether through the scientific rigor I've pursued in research or the compassion I've learned to offer inpatient care, I am driven by the same goal, to be a doctor who sees the person behind the illness. So, you know, this is strong because sometimes students will focus on just one anecdote, then lesson, one anecdote, then lesson. I love when paragraphs can really bring together, thread throughout different kind of experiences. And so this one is focusing on cultural awareness, using Spanish to communicate with the patient, empathy, taking the time to really kind of help the patient feel empowered and understanding their care, but also intellectual curiosity, kind of connecting it back to research or connecting it back to something they've talked about in the personal statement. So really kind of threading throughout a couple of different experiences that really advance an argument about empathy or cultural awareness. So you really want to kind of think about how you can do that. And you do that by bringing in a couple of different experiences together. So, you know, I hope this was helpful. Please give us a like if you found this helpful. Give me in the comments any topics that you're interested in kind of learning more about and think about how you can kind of stitch together different experiences in your pre-medical experience our journey to really advance your why medicine. Everyone's path to medicine, while it could seem similar, is unique and unique to you. And so finding those threads of being just you is what kind of, and it doesn't have to be, everything has to be unique to you, but finding those threads within your personal statement are really what help you stand out. If you wanna learn about how I work with students, how I partner with you to build and craft your entire application from personal statement through interview prep, because that is also messaging and curating who you are. Every part of the process, fill out our application in the link below, schedule your free call, and we can really figure out whether we're a good fit, whether you are at the point where you really kind of want this type of, of guidance and you're looking to partner with someone to really elevate your message. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, bye.